So this whole exercise is related to electrolysis and the chemical cell. The first part of the exercise having MCQ, multiple choice questions are there. And the second part is having the structure question. So I'll not solve all MCQs. If there are like 15, 16 MCQs, so I will solve half of it to give you an idea. And same way, the structure questions are there about um, same number, 10 or 215. So we'll solve half of the structure questions as well. But right now we'll focus on uh, the chemical cell. So chemical cell questions we'll mainly do. We can do electrolysis and chemical cell together as well. Uh, first, which reaction could take place at anode during electrolysis? So if you are doing the electrolysis, which reaction anode? Anode is a in a chemical, in an electrolytic cell. Electrons will move out from negative towards cathode and electrons are attracted out from anode. So this is anode and this one is cathode. So anode always attract the negative ions and cathode attract the positive ions. So anode will attract the negative ions. So hydroxide ions are negative here and the chloride ions are negative. So they can only move towards anode. Copper ion and hydrogen ion cannot move towards anode, so they will move towards cathode. So that's why A should be the right answer. <laughs> the next is zinc electrode. This is a chemical cell. How you know, how you distinguish a chemical cell, if you see a voltmeter, or you see a lamp is connected and two metals are used with a difference in the reactivity, like two different electrodes are used, it means it is representing a chemical cell. So what happened in this chemical cell? You have a zinc electrode and you have copper electrode, which is more reactive? Which is more reactive electrode? You can use the chat to answer which is a more reactive electrode. When you check the reactivity series, uh, this one is potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, gold, and platinum. So when you check the position, zinc is here, copper is here. So which is more reactive? Zinc is more reactive. So as zinc is more reactive, the more reactive will have a greater tendency to lose electron. So it means zinc will go inside the solution as a zinc ion. <coughs> and these electron will travel from zinc surface to the copper surface. So majority of the electrons will be here. And in the electrolyte, usually like acids are there. So hydrogen ions will gain electron and it will form a hydrogen gas. So which statement about the process occurring when the cell is in operation, cell operation is correct, like when cell is working. Copper ions are formed in the solution? No, because copper is less reactive. It won't form a copper ion. Electron travel through solution? No. Electron never travels through solution. Electrons can only move through the wires. The reaction zinc atom has turned into zinc ion. That is correct because zinc is more reactive. So more reactive will turn into an ion and it will lose its electron and electron travel through the wire. Electrode, the zinc electrode increases the mass. That's also wrong because when atom turned into an ion, amount of the atoms have reduced. As a result, what will happen? The size should decrease. It won't increase. Is it uh, clear question two? The next question is how you identify the electrolytic cell. <coughs> so how to identify the electrolytic cell? You can see a battery here. What was the difference? If it was a chemical cell, what will happen? In that case, you won't have a battery. You will have either a voltmeter or a lamp will be there. But because it's, it's a battery is there, so battery is there, it means it is an electrolytic cell. In electrolytic cell, we pass the current through a solution and we carry out the chemical changes. 
what will be the movement of electron the big line is representing a positive terminal and small line is representing a negative terminal so from negative terminal electrons will move towards the cathode electrode y is a cathode and the positive terminal of a battery attract the electrons from electrode x so electrode x is actually an anode it's a molten whenever we have a molten substance in a molten substance, when we do electrolysis, the ions will move towards their respective electrodes and the electrolyte is always used up, like nothing is left behind. So if we have zinc chloride, so it contains zinc ion and it contains chloride ion. Because it's a molten substance, so there is no HNOH ion, there is no water molecule, there are no water molecules. So zinc ions are positive ions, so they will move towards the electrode Y. And when zinc ions, they will gain two electron and it will form a zinc atom. And the chloride ions are negative ions attracted <coughs> towards electrode X. So when one chloride ion is there, it will lose one electron. But because chlorine is a non-metal and non-metal exists as a molecule, so when two chloride ions, they will form chlorine molecule and they will lose two electrons. And the electrolyte, once electrolysis is done for a molten substance, we say electrolyte is used up. So which statement is correct? Oxidation occur uh, and what about the changes because it's a gain of electron. The reduction is a gain of electron so this is a reduction. And uh, this is a loss of electron remember from oil oxidation is a loss so this changes oxidation. So oxidation occur at electrode X that's true till here. And the equation is two chloride ions form a chlorine molecule and give two electrons. So the equation is also correct. So that's why A is the right answer. Like electrode X, the oxidation is happening at electrode X. Oxidation happening at electrode X means like there's a loss of electron. And the equation for that electrode, that two chloride ions turn into a chlorine molecule by loss of two electrons. Is it uh, clear question three? Anyone having a doubt? The diagram shows a method used to copper plate a pan. We want a copper plating of a pan. The electrolyte First, again, it's an electrolytic cell because you can see a battery is there. What is the movement of electrons? The big line is representing a positive terminal and small line is representing a negative terminal. So from negative terminal, electrons will move out. The majority of the electrons will be here. And towards the positive terminal, electrons are removed. Now, the solution is copper to sulfate. So copper to sulfate, what it contains? It contains copper ion. It contains sulfate ion, it contains hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. So which equation represents the reaction at cathode? We have copper ion and hydrogen ion. Which ion will move? Copper or hydrogen? Which is less reactive? Copper or hydrogen? Which ion will move? Can you the chat to answer? <coughs> because the copper is less reactive, so copper will move towards the cathode. And as the copper will move towards cathode, what is the equation? The copper ions are there. They will gain electron and it will form a copper ion. And they will stick to the pan. So that's why the pan will have a copper plating. And to balance that, the copper atom will go inside the solution as a copper ion. But here what happened, the copper ions gain electron from the cathode and turn into copper atom, which will stick to the pen. As a result, there will be a copper plate. That's how a copper plating can be done. The diagram shows a simple cell we have two metals P and Q and a dilute. Which pair of a metal produce the largest voltage? 
So voltage produced by a chemical, this is a chemical cell, how you identify, there's a voltmeter, there's no power supply, like it will produce electricity. So you have the reactivity series, you have potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, gold, and platinum. We want to produce a highest voltage. The voltage produced by the cell depends on the difference in the reactivity. Greater the difference in reactivity, greater the voltage produced. If I use iron and uh, copper, so this will be there. So if you use iron and copper, if I use magnesium and copper, if I use magnesium and zinc, and if I use zinc and copper, so which shows the greatest difference in the reactivity? So you can see magnesium and copper is having the highest difference in the reactivity. So in that case, magnesium and copper will be the right answer. So greater the difference. If I want to produce the highest voltage, then I should use the one as the most reactive and one as a least reactive in the theory. The diagram shows a simple cell, metal X and Y, and the movement of electron is from X to Y. You can see here, so which pair will produce a movement from X to Y. If a movement of electron is from X to Y, which is more reactive metal? Is it X or Y? X. Why X? Because X is losing electrons. So X should be more reactive metal. And Y should be the least reactive metal. So if we have the reactivity series, we have potassium, sodium, calcium, Magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, gold, and platinum. So if I use copper and iron, it will produce a voltage. But if I use copper and iron, Fe, so how the electron transfer will take place, how the electron will move, electron will move from Y to X. Because if Y is made up of iron, so the movement of electron is from Y to X. If I use copper and zinc, copper as X and zinc as Y. So what is the movement of electron? Again, it will be from Y to X. If I use iron and zinc, so if iron is more reactive, uh, sorry, iron is less reactive, zinc is more reactive. So what will happen again? Zinc is more reactive, iron is less reactive. So again, the movement is from zinc to iron. So it will be from Y to X. But when you check option D, zinc is more reactive. And if it is at X, so the movement is from zinc to iron. So D will be the right answer. Is it uh, clear? Discussion? So whenever we need a movement from more reactive to less reactive, so like movement is from more reactive to less reactive, that's why the more electron flow is also from more to less. Which statement about electrolysis is correct? It's about the movement of electrons. When we do the electrolysis, we have anode and cathode. And uh, electrons will move out electrons will move out from the negative terminal towards the cathode in the external circuit and electrons are attracted towards the positive terminal from anode. 
and the positive ions are attracted towards cathode and the negative ions are attracted towards anode. So we'll check which statement is correct. Electron move through the electrolyte. This is totally wrong. Why it is wrong? Because electron can never move through the electrolyte. Electrons can only move through the wire. So A is wrong. Electron move towards the cathode in an external circuit. That is correct. You can see the electrons are there from the battery. They are moving towards the cathode or majority of the electrons will be there at cathode. So B will be the right answer. Why C is wrong? The negative ion moved towards anode in external circuit. Even though till here negative ion moved towards anode, this is correct. But not in external circuit. What it should be? It should be electrolyte. External circuit means like wire and the battery. And the positive ions move through the electrolyte towards anode during electrolysis. So positive ions never move towards anode. The positive ions move towards cathode. So this this why this is wrong. Like positive ion, it should not be anode. It should be cathode. So B is the right answer that electrons always move towards the cathode in the external circuit. External circuit means including a battery and a wire. In question 8, the reactivity series for a number of different metals is shown. Which pair of a metal produce the highest voltage? Highest voltage means greater difference in the reactivity. Which pair is having a greater, uh, dif greatest difference in the reactivity? So copper magnesium. Copper magnesium is this. Magnesium platinum. Sorry. Uh, yeah, magnesium platinum is the second one. So magnesium to platinum, the highest difference is there. So greater the difference in the reactivity as highest the voltage produced. In that case, it will be 